For the past six years, we've been building on the principles of person-centered care by asking what matters to you rather than what's the matter. And we promote this every year through What Matters To You Day. Now more than ever in 2020, it's really important we ask and listen and do what matters to people, patients and our staff. This is what some of our staff in Greater Glasgow and Clyde have said this year for What Matters To You Day. What matters to me is being an advocate for my patients. Sometimes when you walk through that door, it can be very scary and daunting. The lack of control you feel. I'm here to empower my patients to be part of that care. What matters to me is that it was finding a way to engage with patients while wearing PPE. It's frightening for the patients, it can be quite uncomfortable for us to wear, but we've managed to find a way to make it work. What matters to me most is my wife and my family, but more than anything it's my wife that matters. She's the most important thing to me in the world. So what matters to me most is interaction. I think that whether it's your family or your friends or people that you're just passing by, or even if it's just online, I think without interaction um, that I'm not, I'm not grounded. What matters to me is my staff's mental well-being. We formally check in with each other twice a day on shift. However, we're always checking on each other throughout the day. My friends and family are important to me, so I always involve patients, friends and family in all of their care. So what matters to me is basically finishing my degree whilst working through the pandemic. What matters to me is getting the patients to the correct destination, making sure they're happy and also comfortable. What matters to me is being able to contribute positively and effectively to someone's overall experience while an inpatient here at GRI and ensuring that the patient knows what matters to them matters to me. What matters to me is being able to get a bit of a backstory about my patients and understand kind of what motivates them because some of my patients are unable to communicate. What matters to me is what other people have done to help us. Over the past few weeks, I've eaten lunch from a restaurant that I've never been to. I wear an ear protector made, knitted by someone that I've never met and I take my uniform home in a bag to wash made by someone that I don't know.